easy lane. Nothing too threatening there. They can run a melee. They could go something more like mid-game brawling kind of snowball oriented with like uh, an Ember Spirit. Though he's very much susceptible to that flat cannon damage. That is going to be coming out from the Gyrocopter. So that would concern me slightly. Five Plus the RP hold of Magnus. Maybe too much. Another initiator, something like a Puck or Quop. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I kind of would like to see a Puck. But of course, IG are going to ban that one away. As being able to have any sort of good AoE disables for your Trial Ranger to work around is very helpful. They already do have the Centaur Ultimate, which will increase Trial Ranger's survivability, having that maxed haste available to you. But um, still need some better AoE disables, in my opinion. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. And what mates would provide that to you? Okay, Mid Ranger isn't. Uh, isn't necessarily that AoE that we were talking about, and Ember's going to be picked up by IG. Meaning we are seeing Ferrari playing a mid Ember Spirit, June is going to be playing the offlane Magnus. Now IG may try and run an aggro try here, in which case we'll have a safe lane Magnus. But uh, Wind Ranger is the last pickup here for Ally Gaming. It's going to be a pretty good mid, honestly, versus... Um, Versus this Ferrari mid Ember Spirit, so I'm, I don't think they really, especially with the Dry Ranger aura, Wind Ranger is going to be hitting very very hard. So I'm I'm not sure if they maybe should have taken a little like couple extra seconds to think about the fact that Wind Ranger in the mid lane is going to be quite harassive versus an Ember Spirit, but overall it's a Ferrari Ember Spirit. Of course, you're going to be happy with that. June is going to be running to the offlane. No aggro try from the side of IG. Thought that would have been a bit greedy of them if they did go that route. Mass pings come out. Super knew exactly what was up. And that ward that was designed to block the pole camp while also giving vision is going to be countered away. And they'll also get themselves a laning ward, so now Magnus should be really shut out of this offlane quite heavily. As the Magnus offlane is uh, an offlane we haven't seen very much in the last year. The battle begins. A few times we do see Magnus anymore, and it is pretty much always mid. But I really feel like that was... Um, that the offlane mag isn't really viable. And I think this defensive tri lane will show exactly why. Oh my god, what is this? This Magnus. He's got a main. Holy crap. Alright, so Light Gamer are going to start this off by her heavily harassing Ferrari in the mid lane. They already have XZ with the Wind Ranger. If they can rotate the Rubik in a couple of times, that'll. Uh, Put Ferrari very much on the defensive. He's already got himself a quick little uh, extra set of regen coming out to him. Because he went for the poor man's shield first, which was definitely necessary versus the Ranger. I think you lose this lane guaranteed if you don't have a PMS at level 1. So smart decision by them there. They don't really need the extra support to be able to shut out the Magnus. As Super combined with the Draw Ranger is going to be more than enough. Not today. June goes ahead and decides to pick up his skewer now at uh, level one. Not necessarily what you want to build. Ideally, you would love to be able to have a free lane of uh, and shockwave for the first couple of CS and then still pick up level two, but too dangerous for him otherwise. As you can see, June. Would be in some serious trouble if the Dry Ranger rotated around and he didn't have that available to him. He does pick up his level 2 by sapping away some of the experience. The pull's still going to go out, though. And here comes the Rubik. And they may be able to surprise June here. But he's already backed himself away. He's just drugged the one melee, melee creep out. 
I steal from the slope. <laughs> Double the nigh here from XZ. Nine and five compared to seven and two on Ferrari. And it's the power of that extra Dry Ranger aura. I mean, she is already hitting for uh, 73 damage a hit. Compared to the Ember Spirit, that's a whole extra 10 damage over him. Double damage for 5,400. He continues to force uh, Ferrari back. They can delay his bottle as much as possible. The Wind Ranger will just crush this lane. As she's already doing. Gyrocopter and I'm the Tusca. Are the dual lane here top, Skyrath Mage? Could it be helping out the mid lane a little bit more with uh, some extra presence? The off laner here, the Centaur, is a little bit more viable, I would say, than the Magnus, but is still going to be having a pretty rough time against this. Nah. -uh. Skyrath Mage has been sitting here for quite a long time. And I'm not sure if he's really looking to try and gank Wind Ranger. I mean, maybe with a concussive shot, follow up a silence. Spare two future maybe bombs. they would, but I, I think it's very hard to get. Part of the problem is XZ is this attack animation of the Wind Ranger plus this maxed out range and everything else. It allows her to sit so far back and doesn't really have to commit when CSing very much at all. Super will sit on the bottom rune. June is going to be stacking up the Ancients for the Gyrocopter. Running into each other. Super is actually going to be put up on the cliff here. We're going to have a 1v1, mano a mano. Super looks like he may win this, but he has no armor. He's taken a lot more damage with every hit. But Super will still be able to claim it. Mainly thanks once again to this Drow Ranger aura. And middle lane, we do have uh, XZ. Was in a bit of a pickle there for a second, but he's got two supports behind him. And Super may still die. He's going to die. Magnus. Rotating around. Far is going to be caught in the mid lane as XTT with the Shackle follow up hoof stomp. They will be able to get that one kill. And June had to put himself onto the cliff, apparently, in order to get the kill. Uh, he's going to be stuck here for a while as well, I guess. Alrighty then, King of the Mountain. King of the Hill. Magnosaurus Rex. Reigns supreme. Skewer down another five seconds. Still a lot of lost time for him. Fry's gonna be chased down. Chains goes out with the extra bit of damage from the uh, Skyrath Mage. They will be able to ensure they kill Ferrari getting super low. Uh, super just needs a little bit of extra slow. Courier is coming in, trying to give that vision, but the jump away from Ferrari and uh, is able to claim that kill and get out safely. Smoke up. Looks like they're going to try and still get a kill here on Ferrari with uh, the Rubik leading the way. If he hits the Telekinesis, then he'll pull him back into the hoof stomp. It'll be a guaranteed kill. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And that's if he hits the telekinesis before Flame Guard goes out. They got him. Hoof stomp, double edge. Well played. XTT is uh, joining in this middle lane gang quite a lot here, but it's probably a lot more efficient than sitting in this off lane as it is a very, very dangerous lane to be in. Once the lane starts pushing in, though, he'll rotate back in just to be able to pull some of that experience. Because why the hell not? Fade Bolt will pull the creep wave off of the tower, and we do have uh, XZ just <laughs> throws out a harassed power shot. Wind Ranger is going to be going for a minus. Does our Gyrocopter do the same? No, he does not. Lil is once again going for the phase boots and Ring of Akilla build IG, drafting this much more uh, for the early aggression of the Gyrocopter, and that's because the late game they can fall back on Ferrari, who has a Magnus behind him, one of the more powerful duos going into the late game. As Ember Spirit is already so damn strong with Battle Furies, but if he gets an extra 50% cleave plus 50% uh, damage bonus, 
Ember Spirit becomes unstoppable in the late game. Just bugging Chuan. Gonna be scouted out by the Illusion Rune from the Wind Ranger. Meanwhile, how's this bottom tower doing? It is about to be taken by the Dry Ranger. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. No levels of gust, surprisingly enough. Uh, June may try and go in for the Dyer's deny, but Dry Ranger fallen. just hits too damn hard. Now an attempted rotation into the mid lane, Chisbug and Chuan. Waiting for their opportunity to snowball into XZ. And there's our hand of Midas. Centaur has had a great game so far thanks to his two rotations into the middle lane where he claims both of the kills. He's gotten himself Tranquil Boots and another 1100 gold. Comparing this to our Magnus, who is ahead in experience right now, but is just sitting with Arcane Boots. So Centaur slightly ahead in the net worth board. I wonder what a Wind Ranger is going to build for this game. Is it going to be like, um, because a fast Orchid is really good on Wind Ranger and is exceptionally good at being able to shut down the Ember Spirit. Normally, I wouldn't advise for a uh, Wind Ranger to go for an Orchid, but I think it actually has probably the most viable item when you're focusing on shutting down this Ember Spirit. Really feel like that would be an excellent pickup by him. Lie Gamer going to go for another early rotation. Jackals doesn't land, and he jumps away to his remnant. I'm not sure why they didn't lead with the telekinesis there, but uh, either way, they did have some vision thanks to this ward right here. While they were rotating with the Dry Ranger, Visage will sit here in the bottom lane and picks up his level 6. They now got the Familiars plus the Aura already up. And XDD, who was, this the really the advantage of heroes like Drow Ranger and Lycan. Is that they can oftentimes farm up the jungle just as fast as they can lane, and that'll leave the lane open to some greedier support, such as uh, the, the Visage. The familiars right now are uh, sitting on the side, just waiting for an opportunity. Slow concussive shot onto Super. He gonna have to try and go down the RP, but June is still gonna be caught by the telekinesis. Twan wiped out. RP, this is perfect for light gaming. Amateur. Blown, and they didn't lose anybody in the process. And they'll still be able to hold on to, so RP being used, two kills. Perfect, really. An early blink dagger for light gaming. I like this quite a bit, actually. Gives your Draw Ranger many more, both offensive and defensive options. Especially against squishy heroes like Gyrocopter and Ember Spirit, Draw Ranger can actually take them one-on-one -on -one very early on. If she just blinks in and silences them first. So IG off to a pretty bad start here. 6-2 in the favor of Lai Gaming. Lai do need this kind of start, though, because they don't want to be going in too big into the late game up against this Ember Spirit Gyrocopter combination. I actually, like, the Magnus offlane is kind of questionable for me. I'm not sure how strong Magnus really is in the current meta. But, um, this... Oh... Familiars, they're going to try and commit to take in this tower, but they won't be able to get it. And the end result will be he'll feed away some familiar gold, and the tier 2 tower will still be denied by June. Denied. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, while I may not feel that the Magnus is not really this viable in the current meta, um, he is exceptionally powerful with this current draft, because 
Gyrocopter is one of the few ranged, um, ranged heroes that really gets a big benefit of the, out of that Empower because normally you look at it and you go, oh, ranged hero, you're not really getting the cleave, but he's got his own version of cleave. That's called Flat Cannon. So the increased damage is still getting a, a rather large benefit. And then obviously it is perfect for an Ember Spirit. Smoke up from Lie Gaming. And they're going to see what they can find. Blink Dagger is up on the Centaur. Running into Chisbug, leading with the Hook Dom. That'll be enough burst damage for Super to clean up the kill. And, whoa, there it is. Looks like a Blink into a Gust. Caught out the Ember Spirit. That is a huge kill for them, especially since they're going to be able to claim this uh, Tier 2 Tower with it as well. XZ is actually going to be going for a mech here. As much as I would have loved to see a um, an Orchid pick up mech, plus a four staff probably a bit more viable. I do like the fact that he also went in for an early level of Focus Fire with this extra damage from the Drown Ranger Aura. It makes uh, a lot of sense. Right now he's got an extra 39 base damage. Ember Spirit. Spirit looking for a bit of revenge, but it's actually the Skywrath Mage who's going to be picked off here in the bottom lane where XTD finds that opening with the Blink Stampede Hoof Stomp combo. Top lane. Going to try and go for June here. Telekinesis. Drop from the birds. Will stun up June a little bit, but he's already got himself enough distance thanks to the skewer. And he'll be fine. 14 minutes in, 9-2, to two, light gaming. Now up to a 7,500 gold lead. It keeps on growing for them. The mech is finished up by Lai. I think they've got everything they need. Now time to just start heavily focusing on taking down some uh, some towers by grouping up. Before, they just did it a little bit by uh, the laning phase and just naturally what Drow Ranger does for you. But if they just like four or five man up to the top lane, easily take down that tier one and, and tier two, I think. IG do have a lot of good team fight, but I don't think they're quite ready for team fights yet. Uh, maybe once the BKB is finished up by Luo, that's going to come soon, though. The uh, Ember Spirit is a bit of a brawler right now. It doesn't have his drum, though, so, and it's going to be caught once again. Expert initiation. The Lie Gaming are just trouncing IG right now. Very one-sided back and forth. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. XDD, I wonder what he's going to go for his next item. He already has the Blink Dagger and has another 1600 gold going in. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. I think a BKB may be necessary for him eventually, but for now I would prefer to see some stat items. Uh, I would almost Radiant like to see like a Yasha build. Attack. An early Manta is not, not bad here just because the early stats. Oh, Luo. Going to be caught up. Snowball will save him for the time being. Stampede is going to run him away. And there goes the Gust, but BKB immediately activated by Luo, taking way too much physical damage from XDD as he takes down two here. June gets a beautiful RP, but do they really have enough damage? Mech is going to be able to repair most of that. And woo, wow! 15 minutes in, 45 seconds, GG already being caught by AG. Getting stomped on by Lai Gaming from this draft. Do not be giving this team a Drow Ranger Visage, man, because they know how to run it. This was just uh, one hell of a turnaround from what we saw in game one, which was pretty one-sided for IG. A lot more